Hello and welcome to this video where you can practice some micro skills ready for your IELTS listening test. In this video, we're focusing specifically on prices. So you need a pen and a piece of paper. I will read out the sentence and you just need to write down the price that you hear. Um, it's important to note in this first video that this is not how it will appear in the IELTS exam. So this is not a representation of an IELTS exam. Um, you're going to have to listen and hold information and then write it down on your, uh, your answer sheet. It won't be as straightforward as this, but working in this way in the video will help to prepare your ears for managing those numbers. Um, I don't want to give you a false sense of what you're in for with your IELTS exam. This is not a mock exam. OK, so this is just practice with those micro skills. So if you're ready, we can begin. Number one, the shirt costs £27.99. Number two, two melons cost a total of £3.76. Three. The price of four tickets is £72.40. Number four. Including tax, that comes to £19.35. Number five. Three coffees come to £9.30. So just take a moment to compare what you've written with what you see here. It's definitely worth highlighting the errors. So write down the correct number and then underline or circle which part you got wrong if you made any mistakes. Um, hopefully you noticed that sometimes I used the word pence and sometimes I didn't. And that's completely fine. You're going to hear both from native speakers. So I could say for number five, nine pounds 30 or nine pounds 30 pence means the same thing so we're dealing here in this video with pounds and pence only um, i'm british and that's what we deal with here pounds and pence so five further examples number six that will be 176 pounds 28 pence Seven. In total, that's fifty-seven pounds ninety. Eight. That's two pounds eighty-seven change. Nine. With the ten percent service charge, that's thirty-two pounds fifty. Ten. Minus the discount, that comes to twelve pounds seventeen pence. So again, just take a moment to have a look at what you've written and compare it to what I've written here. Uh, notice any errors, any mistakes. One common thing that can occur is that sometimes people find it difficult to tell the difference between the teens, so a number like 15 and 50, 15, 50, 15, 50. Uh, that can be quite tricky. Um, I have made a video actually that helps with that very specific skill. So if that's something you struggle with, have a look at the links below this video and you'll find a link to that, uh, that video dealing with difficult numbers. So if you check out the playlist, you'll find lots of other opportunities to practice your micro skills ready for the IELTS exam. Uh, click to subscribe if you haven't already and have a lovely day.